Hey Lyle, this video is for you and whoever you're tutoring or whatever. At any rate, if you look here, uh, you'll notice that um, I'm, I wrote your equation. This is number 8, and we're going to solve for V. So that means I've got to get this number right, or this letter right here by itself. So I'm going to box in that letter right there, and I'm going to move the W and the Z for you. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move it to this other side. So the first things first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this z because this right here is attached so we can't do anything with it so the way we move the z is we're going to subtract z from both sides because what you do to one side you do to the other so once you have moved it from one side to the other you eliminate it you bring down what you have not touched so this is vw equals on the left hand side you got a u minus z okay now we're still going to get this V by itself, so we have a W attached to it. And the way we get a W uh, detached is this is multiplying by W. So we can either do one of two things. We can either multiply by the reciprocal, or we can divide both sides by W. Now, this UZ is attached now, so we would have to divide the whole thing by W. And in doing so, those Ws are gone. You're left with V equals U minus Z over W. Now, uh, I'm not sure if they're teaching them restrictions, but W cannot be zero. Otherwise, it'll be, uh, uh, you, you just can't divide anything by zero. Okay? Now, let's go to this, ne this next problem that I picked out for you. This is number nine. In this particular case, we're going to solve for C. Now, notice C is right here. It's attached to the D. So that means we got to get rid of the B first. Well, B is positive, so I'm going to subtract B. That minus right there belongs to CD. So that's why I didn't add the B. So I'm going to subtract B from both sides. The Bs are gone. I'm, I'm going to bring down this right here. Now that minus has to come down with it. Bring down the CD equals, and you're going to get X minus B. Now again, those two are attached. Now I have couple things I can work on here. I'm going to get rid of this C. Now notice, or I'm going to keep that C. Now notice I have this negative and this D. That's just like saying negative 1 times C times D. Well, because it's multiplication, I can get rid of that negative and the D at the same time. So in this case, I'm going to, again, it's multiplication, so I'm going to divide by negative D on both sides. And when I do that, the D's are gone, the negatives cancel out and I'm left with C. On the left hand side again I have X minus B on top divided by negative D and again D cannot equal zero. Alright then final last one for you. Uh, this seemed to be a little bit more challenging. We're going to solve for A. Well if you notice A is attached to these group of uh, characters right here. So it means I've got to get rid of this 11 and i got to get rid of this uh, negative x. So what I'm going to do is, let me get rid of that right there. Um, Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to leave that there. I can get rid of the 11 easily. Since it's division, I can multiply both sides by 11. So if I multiply this side by 11 and multiply this side by 11, what ends up can uh, happening is those 11's cancel out. I'm going to bring everything down and I get 10 times A times C minus X equals, well I can go ahead and multiply that. So negative 3 times 11 is negative 33. Now again I'm concentrating on this A. That A is attached right here so I got to get rid of the X and so the opposite is adding X. So I'm going to add X there. So if you notice those are gone, what I'm left with is 10 times A times C equals negative 33 plus x. Now, little side note, I can write this as negative 33 plus x or x plus a negative 33 or x minus 33. All three of those mean the same thing. All right, now, this is attached. So the next thing I'm going to do is this is multiplication. So I'm going to get a by itself by dividing by 10c. If I multiply, divide by 10c on both sides, the 10 cancels out, the c's cancel out. Notice you now have your a by itself, and you can't 
eliminate anything right here. So negative 33 plus x over 10c. And again, in this case, c cannot be 0.